beautiful weather you've got, guys, today. Yeah, perfect. Is it nice to be out in free fall again after all that tunnel <laughs> training? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. Come to Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice. How is, the, how is the view of the ocean right now? Oh, it's great. It must be marvelous. Huh? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. We, we should do it on the beach. Let's go and talk on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> there comes the rest. Chris. Yeah. All right, welcome to another round of NSL talk. We are at Sky of Sebastian and we have STC Rhythm XP after a uh, training day, a part of the training camp that began last week. Um, how is it going so far, Janet? Great. It's great to get back in the air with everybody and with our new teammates too and everything feels really great. I'm excited about the season ahead. There's so much to talk about. I don't really know where to begin and we have like probably about 15 minutes at the most. If not, then everybody gets bored. So um, <laughs> um, let's begin with a Paraclete XP Indoor Championship and mm -hmm. uh, that was your first competition with mm -hmm. Chris as a new center inside. Mm -hmm. Chris, what were your impressions? Tell us a little bit about uh, the meet. Uh, yeah, I was really happy with, with our performance. Um, I'm really excited about how easy uh, the transition from my old team, Fury, to uh, the new team. Um, these guys have made it super easy and just I think the two styles are coming together really nice. Um, I think our performance at XP um, shows that we've got a lot to uh, to show and I think there's more more good stuff to come and this training camp here is following suit with that really well. Let's uh, let's ask your peace partner um, what, what he brings back from, from Rayford from the first meet. Yeah. Well as a general comment actually from Rayford and from these uh, few jumps we, 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 we did uh, he's he's really good, you know. He's bringing a lot of experience to the group, and I and I feel I think a little bit more than Steven Jeanette because I'm his partners with him. There's a lot of stuff that's feeling really good uh, right away, and there's a lot of stuff that I have to adjust. You know, we both. I, I like to say I have to adjust to him, you know, instead of the other way around. Uh, as far as timing, technique, but it's going in, you know, the right direction. So I'm. I like. Uh, things are feeling this way right at the beginning of the season because it's gonna only get better from now on that's what i'm looking forward to we have a new person here at the rhythm table too um his uh, name is alex bittner alex can you introduce yourself um sure i'm alex bittner i've been um jumping with steve and Jeanette and tiago in the uh the old lineup um on and off a little bit just down here in sebastian has kind of pick up video the last couple of years um, I work at Performance Designs and know them through that relationship as well. And uh, they asked me over New Year's to join the team as the new video flyer, and I couldn't be happier. And Steve, is he keeping things in, in frame so far? Or, or yeah, Alex is awesome. Yeah. We're really excited. Uh, 
he's doing a great job with video. We knew that because he did a great job last year, and uh, he's a great guy. So he's such a big contribution to the team. Absolutely, it's it's uh, it only adds you know it adds a lot to to what we have to offer as a team and to our whole group dynamic for sure. Let's move forward to the next uh, topic. Um, in the meantime, the, the Blue Skies mag has posted an article about uh, rhythm um, with, uh, what's it called, uh, with fresh air and rhythm into the future or something. <laughs> Chris, did you read that? Are you familiar with that uh, article? Yep. What, what did you think when you, uh, is that, can you, can you confirm kind of what you read there? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> uh, well, actually, the article came a little bit of a, as a surprise. I didn't, uh, someone came into the, the hangar the other day and said, that the article had, uh, actually, I think Alex told us. Um, uh, so I went and read it yesterday. Uh, I think it's fairly, I, mean, I think it's accurate. Uh, I don't think I would have made a choice to um, sign up for another project if it didn't have uh, the expectation and the hopes that, you know, that article kind of pointed towards. Um, one of Fury's early goals was to establish a name that would have a long lasting uh, effect on the sport. Um, I, you know, I think we did a good job of that for sure. Uh, unfortunately, it, it, it came to an end. The hope was to keep it going a little bit longer, but you know, things change. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can bring some of that experience uh, to rhythm, and uh, I would like to make this a lo definitely a long-standing project for sure. Now I also have to ask, of course, um, the, the founders of the whole rhythm project, Jeanette and Steve. Does it did it reflect? Um, to a certain extent, reality, or <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I thought it was a great article. Thank, thank you for writing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, only wrote what I, I only wrote what I saw, and what could be seen um, from the outside. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, um, you know, like Steve and I and, and Laurent and Chromie, you know, had certain ideas about what we wanted for the team, and it's grown, and every single teammate that we've brought on has just added to that, so... Um, I don't see it as, I mean, certainly I think we had visions like that to begin with, but it's something that um, I think the most important thing is that we've always felt like it's important to bring on a teammate that will, that will continue to make that vision stronger and will shape that vision into something that's stronger. And I think that's the most important thing, why we've been successful. You know, now we have with, uh, with um, Chris now eight uh, teammates and actually even more than that with with Alex and, and, and video and, and the reason why we're still you know strong through that is that we've 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 grown with each teammate you're getting closer to the Taiwas numbers huh? <laughs> the 60 <laughs> members or whatever um, the longest standing team project that there is is Arizona Airspeed the privately organized if you um, leave alone the Golden Knights uh, of mm -hmm. course um, let's talk about airspeed. Um, <laughs> it is, uh, of course, um, somebody to talk about because that's what you're aiming at. Um, we just saw their score. We saw them perform at Paraclete. We saw them. We saw the scores from the Valentine's meet. Steve, does it scare you? No, <laughs> it doesn't scare me. No, <laughs> if it scared me, I'd be doing the wrong thing. You know? so what do you think? Um, I mean, uh, it, it's it's obviously it's awesome. They're great, and it's something to aspire to. And I think that over time, it's something that's achievable. You know, we're not there right now, but I believe that we can be. So, it's just working hard and getting there. And um, w what are you what are you working on right now? What's what's your? I mean, you're working crystal into uh, the team. Yeah, I think that really. All we need to do is get the exits better, and then the <laughs> random work, uh, some of the block technique and builds. Um, Are you funding the exits? Speed. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, we're, we're, okay. we're just beginning, you know, so. so we're Too much tunnel time, I guess, right? Then you funnel the exits, <laughs> yeah. and you get back to free fall. <laughs> no, no, uh, I think um, we're, first thing first, we're, we're just seeing everything, you know? I mean, honestly, we've... we've just today I've seen now every block once you know so we have a good understanding of, of, of where each block kind of is or maybe that's not even fair maybe you got to do it a couple times to even understand where each block is and then start uh, or continue to, to think about how you can improve each block and of course everything else so it, it, right now it's just it's just seeing everything in the air and getting used to each other and seeing where we stand I think 
did you actually know or how familiar are you with the team history in Sebastian? You know that the Sebastian XL, I mean the most famous XL, mm -hmm. actually originates pretty much from, from this Gobson here and, yeah. and uh, now you're following up pretty much on that. Um, is it how uh, how is everything going here for you? I mean, you're you're running your whole project here uh, through the winter, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is how is work going? That's your work. No. Yeah, Sebastian's great. Um, they're a great drop zone, a great sponsor. Um, the week the the days here are, are awesome. The weather's beautiful. Um, there's it seems like there's always a different group here. Um, like right now, the Red Bull guys are here, and then tomorrow the crew guys start training, and there's a group from. Uh, Seattle that came down, a group from the ranch. the ranch, so it's fun, all the people that come down and, and make trips down here, it's fun Sorry. to jump with them and, and train with them. And yeah, we'll Annika, I'll call you back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> uh, but yeah, Sebastian's great, we, we love training here and it's a beautiful place. And that's it for today. Thank you very much, uh, Riven, for taking a few minutes here by the end of the day. And, and good luck and Thank have you. fun with the rest of the training. Thanks, Thanks Kurt. Kurt. Thanks, Kurt.